Hey guys, it's Queen DJ, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episode 33 of Wonderful Pretty Curious. It's going to get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Let's see how in the world Dad is going to be incorporated into this episode. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Aww. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> Oh, my God. <laughs> okay, so what was it, like an hour ago? Yeah. So, okay, got to see the opening and ending with, you know, clips of the movie. I secretly wish that, you know, the broadcast version that comes on a country roll would show that as well but i get it because of the fact is i'm guessing country roll and the relationship with joey um they have certain things that they don't they can't show and i get that that's okay it's very similar to when um what company was this it's it's still Netflix, but it was another company within Netflix. You know the people who did like the uh, the OG Power Rangers and stuff. Yeah, them, they when they bought <laughs> it's two the couple of series of Pretty Care and turned it into what it is. We're not gonna talk about it. Um, and they were like, "Hey, we'll let you air this in America, but here here's our conditions." You can't show anything with the name Pretty Cure up in here. <laughs> and that's what this feels like. They can't show anything of the movie, any clips on the cartoon. They were like, ah, no. Maybe you'll get the rights to the movies. Which I'm hoping one day they do. Oh, that's like me with Cody. Oh. Neither does Cody. The fact that that's also a reference to Doki Doki. <laughs> His calming voice? Hmm. 
Come on. Uh, come on, Gee. Speaking of Daiku. <laughs> The fact that she said that so casually. No, that's so cute. Ha, ha, ha. 
Good job. Not the puppies. Leave the puppies alone. The dogs don't want to be freed. Can, can we not do that? Oh my god. Not the dogs this week. Oh my god. Is that even a dog? That's a pig. <laughs> ah, okay. <laughs> I was expecting a dog or another wolf, but a pig. <laughs> we got Babe from... Or Wilbur from Charlotte's Web. Oh my god, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. on my mind for the rest of the night until I go to bed. <laughs> I'm so silly. I need that after today. Oh my god. <laughs> Come on, okay. Oh, a boar? Well, I mean, because a pig and a boar are in the same family, so either or. I mean, and also, never seen a pig slash wild boar run like that, you know, mm-hmm. Run that fast, too, because... Oh. No, it's just going for the trees and the bushes.
Yeah. Yeah, by using a calm voice. You're not soft. Perfect. No. <gasps> Look at it. He's so cute, little Too bad, so sad. All right, Wilbur, time to go home. Look at his little tail, oh my God. <laughs> the 
the feels that it's giving to the one anime with the the one anime that I watched with the girl who had a pig for a pet and the fan girl like I did. I was like, ah, oh, he's so cute. Oh, <gasps> look at oh. The way she just looked at Iroha. Cody looks at me like that. Like, oh, it's the cutest thing in the world. Oh. <laughs> Deku, you too? Okay, so, this is the cutest freaking episode ever. Oh my god. Like, so adorable. The fact that it was about her dad, like, I, I love it. Because, like, it to me, it feels like, you know how, like, when, I think Kira Kira, Kira, Kira maybe did have an episode that focused on, um... Ichika's parents for like an episode or two or something like that. I, I just love the fact that we get episodes that are a f that do focus on the parents and stuff. Whether it is Iroha's, Yugi's, we, we really don't see much of Satoru's parents because I'm guessing they're just non-existent and that's okay. I get it. But something about Pretty Cure having episodes that focus on the parents but they still give moments to their offsprings is really sweet because of the fact is there are times in animes that I've watched um, <laughs> throughout my years of life, where 9 out of 10, the parent is non-existent in the main character's life. And I love the fact that with this series overall, that we get to have little moments of that, where, like, mom pops up, dad pops up, heck, even grandma pops up, maybe the aunt and uncle, somebody always pops up. The fact is also, at the, <laughs> at the same time, the gotta gotta this week had to be a, a pig. Had to be Babe and Wilbur. <laughs> Just, you know, if you've ever seen Charlotte's Web, whether it's the animated one or the live action one, or if you've ever seen Babe, and if you ever do watch, oh my god! <laughs> Not the Siamese cats, oh my god! <gasps> Oh my! <laughs> one, one, the Gundam reference, obviously. I, I love once again with, with Toei, Toei and their references. It's very similar on how Studio Shaft is with the Monogatari series. If any of you have seen, haven't seen Monogatari, um, I highly recommend it. It, I'll say this. Monogatari is not for everybody, I will say that, but the ones who are able to stick with it and stuff, you really highly will enjoy it. I, I love the crap out of it because at first, I didn't think I was going to like it, especially as someone who, like, requested it as a Patreon series for me. I was like, do you not know how long this show is? This is 100 episode plus. Plus the new season. 14 episodes into the new season. That's 114. That's a lot of episodes. But I'm like, okay. And now I'm addicted to the show. I love the show a lot. Um, but the references, because like Studio Shaft loves to reference their other shows in the Monogatari series. And I think that's really cute. And once again, Toei likes to reference their other shows into Pretty Care really a lot, or just a lot of shows in general. I mean, other shows do that as well. Or just, like, have this weird, interesting collab. Like, once again, Monogatari and now the Steinsgate series, which 
never would have thought that Steins Gate and Monogatari would have collabed, but once again, you never know. This also gives you that long-running dream that I have, that Pretty Cure and Idol Master will collab, even though you have people who are um, voice acting characters in the Idol Master series who are also in the Pretty Cure series. So maybe one day that might happen. But the fact is that we're getting Mayu's mom and dad together next week. Because, mind you, we haven't seen... We've seen him in episodes, but we haven't seen him officially, like, in a scene with Mom, Yugi, Mayu together. So next Saturday is going to be also oh, good. We're, we're doing the episodes with the parents. Like, oh my god. Yes, thank you. Like, 10 out of 10, let's freaking go. But, like, yeah, as I said, the next time you watch Charlotte's Web, animated or live action... Or you watch Babe, remember me. <laughs> like, I have not watched, I have not watched either of this. Well, I never really watched a live action Nickelodeon one because I've seen, I'm more in the animated one myself because that was my, like, childhood, duh. But, no, yeah, like, I think if I ever sat and watched either Babe or Charlotte's Web and I see a pig, I'm just going to bust out laughing and be like, remember that one moment in episode 33 of Wonderful Pretty Care? <laughs> <laughs> but no, the fact that we're getting like a cat focus episode, this is the moment or the one time you secretly wish like Yukari or Yuki? Yuki? No, Uni, Uni, Uni. Yeah, 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 yeah. Either one of my two babies <laughs> were featured in the episode. I can only dream. That's all. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. But no, let's also talk about the one other thing before I go. Okay, so a couple of days ago, it was finally announced on who is playing Dive Crew. Now, out of all the people, all the male seiyus, like there were a lot of people who I instantly kind of thought of um, to voice him and like wanting to see who could voice him. I was thinking a lot of, um, okay, so I'm just going to start... <laughs> If I could think of two JJK characters, because there is one, and the one that I'm not going to say, he is voicing him. Um, I was more or less expecting, like, uh, Yuji's voice actor, or Megami's voice actor, or um, Inumaki's, um, or uh, I thought they would have went, you know, the Haiku route again, like, having your wings say you up in there, but then also, like, getting someone else from Haiku to, you know, voice and such. Or they could have got, um, I think, Shota Aoi and stuff. There's a, There were a lot of guys that I really initially was thinking of to play Daiku. Then they announced who plays him. So mind you, this was, this was Thursday, Wednesday or Thursday for me. And I'm on Twitter and I see the picture. The picture of them both as magical boys is just adorable. And I hope... That even though they're going to be featured in the movie, there is one episode where they still officially make it into the show. And we get to see a human eye Because that, that's the goal by the end of this. Them being cures, being cure likes, like-ish, or having him as a, like, humanized figure. Hopefully. Um, so like I said, they, <laughs> they announced who played him. And so I look at the name. And I sit there for, like, a good minute. And I'm like... I know this name. This name is very familiar to me. I was like, why is this name familiar? I, I've seen this name of this Seiyu so many times. And I'm just sitting here for like a good minute. Like, why is this name for this particular Seiyu so familiar to me? I said, like, you know what, DJ? Copy the name. Go on your phone, Safari, and look up the name. Once I looked up the name and the first picture I saw of the Seiyu himself. My mind went blank because all I can now uh, initially here when I look at <laughs> Daiku is not only Gojo Satoru because uh, even though I wasn't going to say his name I hear freaking Grey from <laughs> I'm about to say Fruits Basket. Grey from Fairy Tale. Um, Shigure from Fruits Basket, um, and, and so many other characters that he's voiced. He was the one person that I was like, 
a maybe unless he gives like a really like cutesy voice to it but i love the fact that they're like no like use your use your male voice use your dominant voice in a way i think it's really interesting because of the fact is because daiku is so silent and such you always wonder what he like initially is thinking like even the moment with him and satoru and how satoru is like literally freaking out over going like in hero's room and he is like there are times of their relationship where they give me feels towards like Pinocchio vibes where Satoru is Pinocchio and Daiku is just Jiminy Cricket like this is your conscience speaking and such and you, cause you know like Daiku makes these like <laughs> like it's the faces that he makes or just the looks that he does or just the actions that he does I'm like sir very, very, this is your conscience. This is Jiminy Cricket speaking. Like, hello. Very almost, uh, you can kind of say Gojo Satoru coded and such. Now I'm just ready for all the nah, I'd win memes with Daifuku now because it's Gojo Satoru and such, which that was not on my bingo card this year. We now have, I think, what, three people? Three seiyus from Jujutsu Kaisen in Pretty Cure now? Like, take out Maki and Obara, and then you got Gojo! And it's like, who else? Who else really be putting in here? Like, you already put Ren from Face Day Night up in here. So, I still love you guys for that. Like, th that was a 10 out of 10. Because out of all the people, was th that that took me out. But not as much as the, <laughs> the Gojo thing. But no, hearing that voice out of that bunny, like, I had to, like, I had to pause. I was like, Oh my god, so, but no, I'm super excited, I cannot, I, I hope and pray that we do, in a regular episode, get to hear him speak. It still is gonna be, like, an out-of-body mind experience for me, and such, but I'm still gonna be super excited for it, I honestly cannot wait to see, even though, like, of course, I probably gotta wait, like, almost a whole year for the movie to come out, um, and such, so whenever that does come, yes, I will definitely watch it. Because like I said, there there's a list of rosters of pretty cute movies that I need to react to. Starting with freaking um, Tropical Rouge because I was supposed to. And that is still on my watch list. Heck, I think I even have the movie on my computer. Um, and I think I already had it cut into parts, but... I'm a busy bee. I'm always busy as I don't know what. But no, this was a fun episode as always. Very much enjoyable. Loved it just as much as last week's zoo episode. We're not going to talk about the situation that happened on Twitter, of course. But um, it wasn't a drama that I was in, thank goodness. But I, I saw it and I was like, WTF, sir? See your way over there. Goodbye. But no, it was a really good episode. But other than that, guys, that is where I actually view towards episode 33 of Wonderful Pretty Cure. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all next Saturday for episode 34. <clears throat> but until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye.